What's cranking, folks? John B. here with yet another banger. We've got a pretty interesting episode. I'm, I'm curious to see how this one pans out. Usually when I start these videos, I never know if they're going to work out, but we're going to give it a try. What I plan on doing today is I plan on looking for fishing spots that look bad. I know that may not make a whole lot of sense, but bear with me as you see the spot that I am standing in front of right now. Take a look at this. This is crazy. So just to kind of explain to you what's going on here, if I can even do so, you've got these two monstrous funnel tubes that are made from concrete and then you've got this creek slash pond that literally makes its way under a four-story building. I don't know. It doesn't look too great. It's definitely not probably the fishiest and the best place to fish in Massachusetts, but I figured it'd be cool to try it out. And from here on out, we're gonna look for other places on maps that don't necessarily look appealing to an angler's eye. I'm also pretty stoked to say that uh, Winkus over here is gonna be joining us on today's fishing mission. Say hello to the Pete, say hello, she's so shy. I mean, you need to be more social, there you go. Yeah, see look, you're stoked for today's mission. As long as we've got Lucky on our team today, there's no way we're gonna fail. Anyway, I'm gonna cut today's intro off right here and we are going to get after it. Stick with it, stay tuned, and let's catch some fish. Plain and simple, I think the first thing I wanna start off with is probably a little wonker log it looks kind of shallow i was looking at the spot before doing today's intro and i was thinking to myself it's like pretty shallow i'm not sure if there's any fish in here of course as soon as i think that and say that in my head there's like three bass that roll past so there's i know for a fact fishing here just because of how skinny the water is and just observing it for a few moments there's even some bluegill too so if i can't get some largemouth at least try for some panfish all right that's a good sign i guess that's not a bad largemouth it's about a pound come on there's gotta be some big oh i just got hit there he is he's got it that's a bass. Oh, he spit it. What the hell? There's like a decent amount of current pushing through here. Could be some small up in here as well. I don't know. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to throw one under this building right now. Take a look at this. Like this is the spot. Like see that? It's a giant building. And then right into there is apparently a creek. And I got to believe there's some fish under there. I just turned the camera off and I had my Cinco sitting in the water and there was there he goes, that's so sick. My Cinco was like right there and I was looking down at my camera to make sure it was recording and he came up and ate it. That was so wild, it was very little. I'm not too sad that I lost that fish, but still pretty neat. This looks good. Is that a fish right there? A lot of little bluegill in here. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. He ate it right on top. No, he spit it, oh my God, oh my God. That was a good one. He ate it right on the surface. That was a donkey. What the f just happened there dude that fish came out of thin air and ate that worm no oh i got another one little one little one little one. Oh my gosh he ate so close to the bank too oh my god i cannot believe i just dumped that fish that was insane that was absolutely insane i suck at fishing wow is that a fish oh my god there's one. Oh my god i just broke off huge wake and i just broke off my life how did I break off? Oh my God. I am sucking booty hole. Oh, it looks like it might've been a pike or something. Big fray on my line. Damn it. Well, I mean, I can't say I'm not getting any shots. Like this is just like a hand me out. Like, geez, two wacky hooks gone in less than 20 minutes. One on a nice large mouth too. Oh, I've got one hook left. There we go, that's good. Let's see if we can lose this one. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that today's uh, session is starting off on kind of a bad note, it is, a good sign that I am getting bites. I want to show you guys real quick the rig I'm using. This right here is a five inch cinnamon lunker log. This is a worm that you've been seeing me use a ton, especially as summer transitions into fall. And I'm just taking a, a little circle hook right there, which is, which is a hook a lot of guys use for like live bait fishing, but I use it for wacky worm fishing. And I just hook it right in the mid section of that worm. So it's got this really thumping, uh, tantalizing action. And I work it real slow. I just kind of cast it out there twitch a few times and then if I get a bite, I just break off. So um, I would say do all of that except the last part. You definitely want to avoid breaking off. That's something I wouldn't recommend for sure. Oh, 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 look at, oh my God. You guys, there's a fish busting over there. That was crazy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There was literally a fish just busting right over there. Oh, I have it, whatever it is. I'm on. He came off. He, he actually came off. I'm going to lose. I'm going to flip a lid. I'm going to have a cow flip a lid. I'm going to go bat crazy you got to be kidding me dude i have been saltwater fishing for way too long it's funny you think freshwater fishing is so easy and simple i'll just throw a bobber and a worm out there jimmy and crank in an eight pounder no it's like i had an easier time catching a 10 foot blue shark than these little pond bass i'm going insane here i gotta catch one if i don't catch one in this first spot i'm i'm gonna rage quit i'm deleting this whole video oh it's frustrating all right 
I'm moving. I'm gonna go find some juicier stuff. There's a nice little bridge under there with some shade. I'm thinking that's gonna have a big old nugget head under there. Speaking of nugget heads, how you doing over there, nugget? You just chilling watching Pops lose all the fish? There we go, I'm on. Yes, that's a fish. Yes, finally. We got one, we actually hooked a fish. I don't know about this. I'm a little nervous. No way, what is this? Oh my God, it's a little pickerel. <laughs> of course it's a pickerel. Not exactly the first fish that I would planned on catching today, but a little pickerel is always welcome, especially since I rarely ever get to catch these guys. I'm surprised he didn't break me off. That's probably what snapped me off earlier. Oof, look at the chompers on this guy. You gotta start somewhere. And today we're starting with a micro pickerel. This is, I guess, the beauty of fishing out here in the Northeast. All right, buddy, back you go and he is gone it's something i'm not i'm not disappointed normally i'd be pissed off but i haven't fished freshwater in a long time so this felt good okay you're gonna want to prepare yourself for what i'm about to tell you so after i caught that little pickerel i decided to tool around this area a little bit just to kind of see what i was missing and i really wanted to figure out where that water was coming from because as you saw there's like water trickling from underneath the buildings i went and checked out the building i went inside turns out it was a bakery they like sell really good pies so i went and bought two pies completely unrelated to the actual story but anyway so after I bought the pies I was thinking to myself okay I gotta figure out where this water's coming from because literally where I'm buying these pies there could be fish underneath me like underneath the building and the idea of that has me like going crazy I'm literally thinking to myself how insane would it be to catch a fish underneath a building so I know for a fact that there's water underneath this very parking lot that I'm standing but I gotta figure out exactly where it's at so so I did a little more adventuring tooled on up over here I found out that there was another pond just above the one I was fishing. Now this one's pretty big. It's got this very old uh, dam set in place. It looks like it's been knocked down a few times. And there's a bunch of water pushing underneath the uh, parking lot and it just kind of ends. Like you can't see where it goes to. In my mind, from basically here to here on Google Maps is a underground river with fish in it. I'm guessing, I don't know for a fact. So for the past like few minutes after I bought the pie and then found the other pond, I've been kind of looking around these storm drains right here and I've been looking to see if there's any water into them. Most of them don't have any water, but get this, a few of the storm drains have water trickling them and it's moving water, which leads me to believe that is the exact underground river that I'm looking for. So right now I'm rigging up a little tiny jig head for bluegill and little panfish, and I'm gonna drop down one of these storm drains and see if I can catch a fish. If this happens, it would be insane. I've never done anything like this. This is the kind of stuff I dream about as a kid, just because it's just, it's so weird and it's so outlandish. I've got a few tools that I'm rigging up right now. Unfortunately, the smallest hook that I have is like a little drop shot hook, but that should be good enough. I'm thinking I just need a bluegill big enough to eat that, and then luckily I do have some little tiny crappie soft plastics as well. If that doesn't work, I've got some lunch meat in my freezer, which I have in my car at all times, so I'll give them a little bit more zest and flavor and drop that down there. Again, and completely honest I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work but I'm setting this up just in case it does so um yeah let's uh, drop down bringing up my little soft plastic here this is literally all I have I have added a little bit of weight to the plastic too so it sinks down there I, I don't know this may be a bust but how cool would it be if, it, if we at least caught one bluegill or something like that this is, this is crazy I, I can't stop giggling because this is just so nuts like what I'm about to do is just so stupid okay you guys ready that is the, that is that is the underground river at least I think it is all right, I'm dropping down. I just hit the bottom. Definitely water down there. Oh wow, it's pretty deep. Is it sinking? Wow, I'm gonna get some serious looks doing this. Oh my God, I just got a bite. I kid you not, I just got a bite. What was that? Was that a fish? I think I just got bit. Oh my God. I literally think I just got bit. Oh my God, I just had one. I seriously just had a fish. This is insane. I'm speechless right now. Oh my God, I just got hit again. I just got another bite. I'm not even kidding you guys. I just got another bite. There's actually fish down there. I got hit. I got one. Oh my God, he came off. Did you guys see my rod bend? That was a fish. I felt pretty big. Definitely wasn't like miniature. There's a bunch of spider webs down there too. It's freaking gnarly. Oh my goodness. This is mind bending. I will stay here all day until I catch a fish. Now that I know that they're down here, I'm not leaving. A small rod would be ideal for this, but, but obviously I didn't expect to be fishing a storm drain on today's fishing mission. Obviously, there's fish down here. I've determined that, but what I really need to figure out is how to catch them. They, I think they're little. I think they're probably gills, little bass, maybe some perch. So I gotta figure out a way to catch these fish with the limited amount of gear that I have in my car. This is so mind bending, oh my gosh. Okay, back to the drawing board. I was having a hard time feeling if I was on the bottom or not, and, and I just like, 
I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't really vibing it. So I'm going to try this out maybe see if that works a little bit better. I mean, there could be some big fish down there. I don't, I don't really know. And then along with this, I'm going to bring some, uh, I don't know, I'm going to bring like some meat or like some salami or something like that. Just because I know that will for sure entice a bite. Here's my plan B. Got a little bit of provolone here. I'm actually gonna take a slice of this provolone right now and eat it for good luck. Provolone's great. I love provolone. It's like my favorite cheese, honestly. It's such good. Mm -hmm. I've eaten some of the provolone. I'm feeling good about this. Let's try to get back down there and catch a gill or something. I don't even know what's down there. We got our newly designed sewer fishing rig. Let's go catch a fish. Trying to think, what would be better? A roasted or smoked turkey? I feel like smoked is the way to go. It's probably a little more firm, you know? Well, let's hope they like this, because I am swiftly running out of options here. This has got to be the ticket. Round three, trouble hook with some ham. <laughs> this is gonna happen. I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling it. The meat, the, 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 the deli meat is gonna catch the fish. I just, I've got this weird feeling. Oh my God, I'm hooked up. I have one. He's on. No way. Are you kidding me? It worked. Can you guys see this? I'm trying to think. Can you, oh, you can't really see this. Damn. Well, there you have it. <laughs> it actually worked. I cannot believe this. A pretty good bluegill, too. This is not too bad. I'm sorry about this lighting. I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, I mean, I know what's going on. I'm like right in front of a building, so the light's kind of weird, but that is my first ever sewer fish. <laughs> this is insane. He ate it so good, too. Wow, it's so funny. Like, this guy ate it so well, but those other baits I was throwing, he didn't want it. A little bit of deli meat, that's all it took. Time to go for the release. This is insane. I'm gonna put the bluegill back in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think me throwing that one back down the hole definitely kind of warned the rest of the group to stop biting, because there was definitely more than one down there. It wasn't just one bluegill. Like Some of those bites are pretty heavy. I think there might've been some little bass mixed in there. Watching your videos every day and you just show up in my state outside my job. No way. Hey, what's your name, man? Bro, there's fish down there. Really? Yeah, like I just caught one. My mind is blown. Largemouth? A uh, little blue. Actually, it wasn't blue. It was like that big, yeah. Sure. Like, you know, there's like that little pond right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, there's got to be somewhere. And then there's that pond. Yeah. I was like, there's got to be like some sort of under, like underground. Under the building, yeah, yeah that's so crazy, man. Yeah, about to come in is you are you really fishing? I got one. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah. I swear. We're all like looking at the windows going, what the hell is this guy? Yeah, no, no. It's not, there's not a ton down there, but like. That yeah. was a drain from those. Yeah, yeah. So there's a pond up there. I'm just gonna try it out. I think I think it's pretty much done though. That one fish like, that. Somebody's so somebody's fishing yeah, in the snow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I felt super uncomfortable because people were like walking in, like this guy parked his bike, and I'm like, oh my god, so but I was like, it's worth it. We were just watching from a window. Oh perfect. Yeah, yeah. I hate walking past that with my keys. Oh yeah. Well if you do, I'll just fish it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. See ya, thanks. It seems as if the parking lot bite has slowed down, unfortunately. I got to actually meet a viewer. He apparently works in the building right in front of where I caught that little bluegill out of the concrete. Again, every time I say that, it sounds so weird. But anyway, I'm gonna head on here, try to find some different spots, maybe some more conventional spots, not necessarily as uh, crazy and unique as the one I just caught that bluegill out of. But at the very least, that was so cool. I can knock that off my bucket list. I finally caught a fish in a parking lot via sewer. Not many people get to say they've done that. So Lucky's getting anxious and she's getting bored. Not really hot on the sewer bite. She prefers more of like the big lake stuff. We're gonna go find some, some creeks, some ponds, some rivers, some streams. I don't know, just something full of fish. Continue our day of fishing as, <laughs> as I've only caught two fish today, a pickerel and a, and a concrete bluegill. So uh, let's get on out of here. All right, so just driven about five minutes on over to the next spot of the day. We're at the Nepansat, Nepansat River. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I just gave it a quick glance, a little cheat glance before I turned the camera on and it looks money. There's current, there's rock, the water's clear. So Lucky and I are gonna grab the stuff, head on down there and we're gonna run it. Here we go. Nepansat River. Wow, this is super awkward. Okay. I'm good. This looks like a winner of a spot for sure. Just set the little tutor down. Oh yeah, I'm already seeing some bluegill. That's that good stuff right there. I'm gonna start off with a jig. I'm fishing the wacky worm too much today. I'm gonna focus on something a little bit different maybe.
There's one. I'm on. Good fish. Good fish. Good largey. Good largey. Yes, first good largemouth of the day. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I threw right up in the current, like the fast moving stuff. And this guy hammered it. Not a bad one. Like we're talking like a good fish. I, I, I started the day off losing fish bigger than this. So it feels good to get one in the boat. I caught that guy on a uh, little 3 8 ounce jig with a Kraken craw on the back. Such a pretty fish, man. They get so green in Massachusetts. There he goes. I think a lot of people think that you've got to fish the slow moving stuff, but more often than not, some of the bigger and better bites will be in that white foam. Like I threw right up in to where that waterfall starts and that's where I got that chomp. So just a quick tip for you guys, something to, to, to keep in mind is just because this looks good and the slow moving stuff makes more sense, that fast water can be uh, equally if not more productive. Dirty. Oh, there's a bite. He done dropped it. Oh, there's another good bite. I'm on. Fish, a little largey. Another little largemouth. Hell yeah. A little squeaky dude on the lunker log. I love when little fish eat baits that are like the same size as them. Look at that. Like, how does that make any sense? Imagine if you ate a cheeseburger that weighed like 15 pounds. That's like the equivalent of what that guy just did. So weird, man. Bass are crazy. Oh my God, I got a thorn in my ass. Whoa, this looks cool. This looks like it could have some fish in it. Oh my God, big bass just ate it. I'm hooked. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I like dropped the Cinco down on a lay down there and this guy came up and cranked it. Not a big bass. I overreacted a little bit, but I just don't really expect much to be in here. Good one. All right, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this guy a big release just because there's no way of getting down there, but yeah, he'll be all right. See you guy. It really seems like most of these creeks in Massachusetts have fish in them. And that's something that just like blows my mind. Growing up in Illinois and even living in Texas for a few years, I realized that it's kind of rare to find a juicy creek that's got fish. Like I pulled up there, never fished it before, and caught like, like a one pound bass and then proceeded to catch a few more. Yeah, that was productive. Hooked a few more back there, only landed one. It's a tiny creek, but it's just thriving with life. It's one thing I think that's gonna be tough about leaving this place is just knowing that I'm not gonna be able to fish these creeks and pull up anywhere and just catch bass. What do you think about that? I think it was fun. <laughs> We're gonna hit the road now, try to find some more areas. Might fish one more spot. It is getting kind of late, so I don't wanna stay out too long. And then I've also got some videos to edit as well. But this creek slash river, whatever you wanna call it, was dope. Very generous. Got a few bites and uh, yeah, we're out. We are at spot number three. Hate to say this, but this is gonna be the last and final spot for today's video. We've done a lot of fishing today. I was actually in Foxborough earlier where the uh, Gillette Stadium is, where the Patriots play, um, but now I've moved like 17 minutes up north and I found this little nugget. It's crystal clear. It's got a little bit of grass or some current. I might throw a little top water because the sun is setting and uh, who knows, we might get some surface activity, but this looks really good. Yeah, let's get after it. Okay, start off with a top water frog. I haven't thrown the frog much today. Honestly, at all, really. Seen some bluegill, some little jimmy swimming around. Water's freezing, holy moly, that water's... Oh my God! I got a huge blow up in that shade line. Like a monster blow up. That was a big, big fish. How did I not catch that fish? Jesus, holy moly, Let's see if he comes back. Did not expect that, really. No, I just had another one. Are you kidding me? I just had another fish in the shade line. Seemed like a pretty good one too. Oh my God, you gotta be joking. Dude, I am whiffing. I've whiffed in a more, like I had my moments today, honestly, you guys. It, it just goes to show how rusty I am with the whole freshwater bass fishing game because I've lost so many fish today. Oh, that's painful. I'm on, yes, I got one, yes. I finally got one on the frog. Yes. Uh, you guys probably couldn't see what just went down, but that was so neat. I went like Hail Mary all the way on the other side of the creek. It of course got into a tree and as it's falling down the tree, it kind of dips in the water and something comes up and just like nips at it. So I slowly bring it over the tree, lands in the water, twitches it twice. This guy cranks it. Yes. I didn't care how big the fish was that we caught at spot number three. I just really wanted to get one. That means we've caught fish at every single spot that we've gone to. Nice looking fish. So sick, man. 
Time to set Buddy free. See you, man. <laughs> Woo! That felt so good. And that right there is gonna conclude today's video. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching today's epi. I know filming and watching these kind of videos may not be as epic as landing, you know, a 12 foot stingray from the beach, but I always want to include content like this within my channel. It's a, it's a very fun and easy way to get out and catch some fish and make some memories. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.